guys welcome to a to z dentistry and today we will be studying a very interesting topic that is regional odontodysplasia also known as ghost teeth so first of all coming to the synonyms uh, this particular condition is also known as odontogenic dysplasia odontodysplasia odontogenesis imperfecta as well as ghost teeth so as the name itself indicates that it is an odontogenic dysplasia meaning jo cells टूथ के हार्ट टिश्यू फॉर्मेशन में इन्वॉल्व है दैट इज द अमीलोब्लास्ट एज वेल एज ओडोंटोब्लास्ट वो अफेक्ट हो गया है उनकी कोई डिसऑर्डर्ड अरेंजमेंट हो गई है जिसकी वजह से डिफेक्टिव डेंटीन डिपॉजिट हो रहा है इन्हें गोस्ट टीथ इसलिए बोलते हैं बिकॉज एज वी नो दैट गोस्ट इज अ सुपर नेशनल एंटिटी ओके इन्हें हम देख नहीं सकते एंड द सेम होल्ड्स ट्रू फॉर टूथ अफेक्टेड विद रीजनल ओडोंटो डिस्प्लेजियम इसमें जो डेंटीन है वो इतना इरेगुलर एंड अब नॉर्मल होता है दैट इन अ गिवन आई ओ हम उसे बिल्कुल आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर सकते नेचुरल जो डेंटीन होता है इट लुक्स रेडियो ओपिक बट इन दिस केसेस इट लुक्स कम्प्लीटली रेडियो लूसेंट और वी कैन जस्ट मेक आउट अ थिन रिम ऑफ डेंटीन Moving on to the etiology of this condition, so basically it is unknown. Although some books mention that it is due to a somatic mutation, and other theory is that there is some latent virus which is residing in the odontogenic epithelium, and due to some environmental factors or local factors, there is reactivation of this virus, leading to formation of ghost teeth. Moving on to the clinical features, so it affects females more commonly than males. and maxillary teeth are affected more commonly than the mandibular teeth so the teeth most commonly affected are central incisor lateral incisors and cuspids that is the maxillary anterior region is affected more commonly so in this particular case both the primary as well as the permanent dentition may be affected and the tooth which are affected by this condition look abnormal as far as their morphology is concerned and in many cases these teeth fail to erupt into the oral cavity or they may be partially erupted so in this picture we can see that the on the right side there is failure of eruption of the lateral incisor as well as the canine in this picture we can see that the central incisor has failed to erupt completely into the oral cavity just a small calcified mass is visible this condition leads to alterations in the shape and size of the teeth as well as there is defective mineralization as dentin is affected not only is that the formation of dentin is disrupted but also there is defect in the mineralization of the dentin as a whole moving on to the radiographical features as both enamel as well as dentin are affected there is a marked reduction in the radio density so normally uh, when we take an iopa we observe that the hard tissues look radio opaque but in this particular case they will appear radio lucent so in this opg we can clearly visualize that there is marked reduction in the radio density so that we can only make out a thin rim of the calcified tissues and the teeth appear almost completely radio lucent this appearance is called as the ghost teeth the enamel and dentin are both very thin because odontoblast and ameloblast both are affected the pulp chamber is very large and the enamel layer in most of the cases is not evident what we can make out is just a thin rim so moving on to the histological features the most striking feature is that there is a marked reduction in the amount of dentin which is been formed also there is an irregular tubular pattern as far as the dentin is concerned the dentin and tubules are not arranged in their normal morphological pattern rather they are arranged in an irregular pattern so in this picture we can see that there is also widening of the predentinal layer also there is greater number of deposition of irregular dentin apart from it many irregularly calcified bodies are evident as we can see in the slide g those areas are stained darkly and basically it is the reduced enamel epithelium which covers the enamel of the unerupted tooth and it shows many irregularly calcified bodies apart from it larger areas of interglobular dentin are evident in the previous pictures as we have seen that these teeth have a very poor cosmetic or aesthetic appearance and they are poorly calcified meaning that these teeth are prone to undergo accelerated attrition and exposure of the pulp so basically either they should be extracted surgically or restoration by proper prosthesis is essential 
सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट गोस्टेड गाइज आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस टॉपिक वेरी वेल थैंक यू सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम